Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. KDK Kill Dyken here. Uh, so we have the brand new Radsa X4 heatsink. I uh, just got this in the mail and I ordered this from AliExpress uh, several days ago and it didn't take too long to actually get here. Now I'm still waiting on my Radsa X4. It hasn't shipped yet. And also the company said that they were gonna send me a one over four review. But I wanted to go ahead and get one extra just in case because uh, obviously we've done some development on it. I'm gonna test it. I'm going to send uh, another one to another dev in the community. However, so I wanted to give you guys a quick look at the X4 case. This is not just a case, but it's also a heatsink. And originally I was confused because if you guys look at most of the pictures online, it's uh, pictured like this. However, it's supposed to sit like this. And um, I saw a few comments on Twitter. I believe one of the gentlemen's names is uh, Brett. He did a, uh, one of the original articles on the X4. If you guys haven't watched my previous video on the X4, I would want, uh, encourage you guys to do it. Uh, we got notification that it was going to launch uh, on the January, I'm sorry, not January, but July 21st. And then also uh, he mentioned as well as Jeff Gerling that the versions that they got, their thermal pads are quite crusty. So I just wanted to confirm that I do have mines here. You can see they're bendable, they're foldable. Uh, they are not crusty at all. They're not rusted. Not really rusted. That's not the word you want to use. Uh, but they're not flaky. So uh, these are really adequate uh, for the case itself. You can see these are actually going to be used. Uh, this is typically what you want to get. But uh, this is an Intel-based chip. These typically run anywhere up to 90 to about 105 degrees Celsius. So I will be adding on a lot of cooling thermal paste uh, in regards to that, uh, in regards to this case. Now, some of you have asked, I know one of my other buddies, uh, Pi Maniac, he has the non-official cooler. You can use whatever you want, but he has one that sits on top uh, with fins and whatnot. And uh, the board itself is shaped like a Raspberry Pi 5. Raspberry Pi 4 has the same form factor as a Raspberry Pi 4. However, the chip itself is on the bottom. It's not on the top, which is why I believe this is here. I haven't disassembled this or anything. And so uh, some of people were wondering, like, how would this dissipate heat? So my best estimate in terms of how this would dissipate heat is I will put a lot of thermal paste on here. You will need thermal paste outside of these thermal pads. So I'm just warning you guys. And um, you can buy some additional thermal pads online with Amazon eBay, several other sources. They don't cost too much. I'm not sure if Micro Center has them, but you can, I would go ahead and get some additional ones if you don't think these are adequate. And then additionally, I believe uh, the way this is supposed to dissipate heat, remember this is an entire aluminum case. So this is going to uh, dissipate heat all the way around. Some of you may be wondering, well, how is this really going to be effective considering that the fan is on the bottom? So keep in mind the way that dissipating heat works, as long as it's making contact with an additional surface, everything around it will dissipate heat. So for example, if I have it here, if this thing's getting really hot, remember if I have a table and the table is really cold, well, the table is now also acting as a heat sink or it's also dissipating heat because it now has access to an additional surface. So if you have a fan that's just on the top and it's a big cooler, like let's say if this was a cooler, uh, the fins are all gonna get hot. Let's say this is the fan here, it's just gonna blow all of that. And that's the extent of dissipating heat. However, when you have something like this on the table, or let's say if it was on a cold table, uh, which is obviously usually cooler than, you know, about room temperature or something and so forth, then all of that really becomes a heat sink in itself. So it's not just uh, this as itself. So I would, we'll, we'll see what these additional test results will yield, but that's typically how I would estimate how this would dissipate heat and keep that uh, chip uh, pretty cool. Uh, remember, this is not an ARM-based board. ARM chips usually go up to about 80 degrees Celsius. If you have an RK3588 or one of the Broadcom chips that the Raspberry Pi Foundation uses, again, this is Intel. And uh, this is one of the cheapest, or I would say most affordable power to performance boards that you can currently find right now. Uh, right now on the market for about 80 bucks. I got the one for 89 through our ace Which also gives me the 64 gigabyte EMMC and then of course they have a 4 gigabyte model now for $60 and then I think it's probably a little bit more than that Maybe 69 if you go ahead and get the EMMC, but uh, I remember Jeff Gurley mentioned on Twitter that this it may have been him uh, That this really wasn't long enough. So we'll see how this does. I think a couple of guys have had issues uh, whether their fan has not uh, really worked or not, but as far as I know, a lot of people don't actually have this, and I've known people that have ordered the Radset X4, but they did not get this, and I don't know why. 
Uh, these are currently in stock as far as the, the last time that I saw, but you really need to have uh, this official case in order to run something like that uh, successfully. And you will need to have some thermal paste uh, for your Intel-based chips. They get really hot, guys. Um, even my UE2X1, I had to keep the top off of that because it does uh, generate a lot of heat. It doesn't overheat or anything of that nature, but uh, again, the Intel chips, uh, they can really pack a punch in terms of heat. But all in all, just wanted to make this quick video review, letting you know that everything is okay here. I have the Ratsa X4 uh, heat sink, and this thing was nicely packaged. So can't wait to actually experiment with it. We do have a version of RetroPie uh, that will work. We'll do some gaming. We'll do some emulation on here, as well as some other additional tests. So really looking forward to it. Uh, this is one of the top boards. Again, as you guys have seen, I made... Uh, a previous video for some of the top single board computers in 2024 and this would be definitely added to that category this is one that you should have in your collection and this should also be one of your top choices if you plan on using this as an emulation uh, machine but i know we don't have a lot of test results out yet we definitely will but again just want to give you guys a courtesy reminder that this is what i'm using this is what i will use it for again i haven't taken this fully apart we're just going to wait for that x4 to come in but these thermal pads uh they're not dried out they're not breaking this is what they typically should look like uh when you get one of these uh, different devices and then of course it came with I think these are rubber mats obviously for i guess the bottom or something i'm not sure we'll figure this out maybe it goes here and yeah, maybe that's where these go maybe they go like right here or something we'll figure it out looks like that's where it would fit Looks like I had another one over here. This where this would fit. Maybe I have to cut it down the side. I'm guessing. I haven't really played around or experimented with this. So all in all, sign up. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Uh, hit the notification bell. I will have more updates and information on other single board computers, other gaming techniques, and other uh, informative stuff for you guys here on the channel. So I will catch you later. Peace out. Bye-bye.